This conference will now be recorded. So uh, we'll be starting our next topic, that is multiple contract plan. Okay. So the topics that we are going to cover, there are. We will see what is multiple contract plan, multiple contract plan overview, then multiple counter and multiple cycle plan. We will see how to do this. Then creation of cycle set. Here we will be creating the cycle set. We will understand what is this cycle set. Scheduling of the maintenance plan. Then once it is created, we'll schedule it. Then we'll run the deadline monitoring. Then the orders will get generated. And also we will see multiple counter, multiple cycle plan, which is handled through cycle set sequences. This also we will see, okay? So basically uh, in the preventive maintenance, this is the flow we are covering, okay? We created the strategy and then this maintenance strategy is assigned to the task list. Then we created the various maintenance plans, single cycle and uh, multiple cycle strategy plans. Okay, in the plans, in the item, we assign the task list. Then we scheduled it. When we scheduled it, after that, we run the deadline monitoring. Once a particular criteria is reached, system generated the orders automatically. Okay, so this part we covered. So today, so far in the maintenance plan, we covered single cycle plan, strategy plan. We covered this. Today, we will see the multiple counter plan. Okay. Multiple counter plan means you have two counters here. You do preventive maintenance considering two counters, two counters at the same time. Okay. In the in the single cycle plan, strategy plan, we considered only one counter. But here we will be considering two counters basically. Okay. So this is the a multiple counter plan is a maintenance plan. A multiple counter plan is a maintenance plan that can have cycles with different dimensions. You can assign cycles freely to the maintenance, um, to the multiple counter plan. A strategy cannot be used here. Okay, so here you will not have strategy. Okay, for example, in a clarification plant, the water pumps are to be maintained on the basis of the following criteria. Number of operating hours or quantity of pump relief considering these two okay i'll tell you the uh, another real time scenario let's say you purchase a four wheeler so when you purchase a four wheeler the showroom guy will tell you he will ask you to come for servicing after one month from the date of purchase or your car runs thousand kilometers whichever is earlier so you he will ask you to come for servicing considering both any one of them so in that case it comes under multiple counter Okay. To plan and carry out maintenance measures for this, you can use a multiple counter plan in which the two characteristic operating hours and liters flow in liters are linked. This is just an example. Huh? This is just an example. So here, basically, you are going to do maintenance after 5,000 operating hours or 50,000 pump per liters, whichever is earlier. So you are considering here two counters machine running hours or uh, fuel, uh, pumped fuel basically, pumped liquid, okay? So this is the multiple counter plan here, you see. You, for your equipment, you do preventive maintenance considering two counters, either operating hours or by the consumption of pumped liquid, fuel basically, okay? So another example is like this. Let's say you have aeroplane, okay? The aeroplane engine has to be changed engine has to be changed after 18000 flying hours or after 12000 takeoffs and landings whichever is earlier so you are considering here two counters number of flying hours okay or number of takeoffs and landings either based on flying hours or takeoffs and landings whichever is earlier so that is means you have two counters multiple counters we are considering so in that case, you have to go for multiple counter plan, okay? So now, for this, you need to create the cycle set, okay? So we will create the cycle set in the, before that, let's have our criteria. So let's go to our equipment, okay? So let's, let me log into our system.
I logged into the system. We have our equipment. You can't expand the whole. This is our equipment. Okay. So now this equipment, our equipment is having two counters. If I go to IE03, this was having two counters. If you go to equipment, measuring points and counters, it is having two counters machine running hours and fuel consumption. Okay. So what I will do, I'll just put a, I'll just uh, come, I'll, uh, let's have the criteria. One is hours, machine running hours. Next one is fuel consumption, liters. Okay. So let's say, what is the counters? This counter is 94, this counter is 95. This is 94 and this is 95. Okay. 95, this is a counter number. Counter number, okay. So now, so now I will have the criteria. Let's say I want to do preventive maintenance after my machine runs 1,500 hours, okay. And accordingly for this, I will calculate the corresponding fuel consumption. So this is my criteria, target. 1500 hours so but what is my annual estimation my annual estimation in the counter we gave the annual estimation if you go to the counter if i select machine running hours if you go to the counter measuring point counter what is my annual estimation 2880 hours okay so 2880 is my annual estimation so per day how much this divided by 12 months divided by 30. So my per day machine running hours is 8 hours. This is per day. Per day. So now to run 1500 hours, how many days it will take? Per day it runs on an average 8 hours. So to run 1500 hours, how many days it will take? That means 1500 divided by 8. So it will take 187.5 days. So let's put it as 188 days. It will take 180 days. So now, for our fuel consumption, what is annual estimation? Annual estimation, if you go back, fuel consumption, what is annual estimation? 18,000 liters fuel consumption, diesel, 18,000. Okay, so now per day, how much? 50 liter. Okay, so now you know per day consumption. So now, to to run 1500 hours it takes 188 days so in 188 days how what will be the approximate fuel consumption you know per day consumption so 50 into 188 so how much it is let's calculate 50 into 188 okay it comes around 9400 okay i'll put approximately 9000 okay so now i got the criteria now i got the criteria so now I want to do preventive maintenance when my machine runs 1500 hours or it consumes 9000 liters of diesel, whichever is earlier. So here I am considering two counters. Okay, so whenever my machine reaches any one of these criteria, my equipment reaches any one of these criteria, I want to do preventive maintenance. So that is multiple counter plan. Okay. So for this, you need to create the cycle set. Cycle set. So what is cycle set? You use the cycle set as a template for creating multiple counter plan. Okay. It consists of series of maintenance cycles. Okay. In contrast to the maintenance strategy, the cycle set doesn't have a reference function. Okay. This means that after the maintenance plan has been created, there is no longer link between cycle set and the maintenance plan that's okay okay only one time based cycle can be used in a multiple counter plan okay so now let's create the cycle set let's create the cycle set so to create the cycle set the t code is ip11z ip11z this is the t code cycle set chain cycle set okay so click on the button new entries you will get like this give the name i want hours versus liter okay give the description 
hours versus liters. Enter. Now, on the, on the left side, there is a folder, cycles. Double click on the folder. You will get this screen. Click on the button, new entries. Okay, now you enter the cycle. 10, 20. My cycle length is 1,500 hours or 9,000 liters of diesel consumption. So this is this unit is hours and this is liters. Give the cycle short text. 1,500 hours maintenance. 9,000 liter maintenance. Maintenance. I'll simply put maintenance. Okay. Again, give the cycle short text. This is hours and this is meters. Okay, done. Then we entered it. So based on this criteria, we want to do now save the cycle set. Save it. Cycle set is created. Now go back. Go back. This is the cycle set we create. Again, I will show you. Select it. Go to cycles. This is the one we create. Okay. Now using this we need to create the multiple counter plan multiple counter plan okay multiple counter plan we need to create okay so this is the one we are here we are creating a multiple counter plan okay so in the multiple